When you first install Video Timer Pro, you'll receive a screen that looks similar to this. Um, basically, the navigation is conducted via the tabs at the top here. You can see the ribbon at the top contains the various controls. By default, it will be on the data collection screen. Uh, the summary tab will become active once you've collected data and you wish to summarize it. There's also a comparison screen here. And you can see this is where you can actually bring together two videos and can play them side by side with these various controls that you have here. Uh, back in the data collection here, you can also click on your toolbox. These gives you basic utilities that you'll use as you go through the use of the package, and those will be covered in later videos here. On the data collection screen, though, most of the action will take place here. This is where you actually collect your data. Here's where your activities are going to go. Here's where your entries are going to be here. Now, these are all uh, customizable to your own needs. You can, if you click the hold the shift button, and I just hold my mouse over here, you can see I can move these up and down here. I can also size the screen. Uh, by clicking in this area right here, the the, the meeting point between the uh, the screen here, the display screen, and these two panels, you can then size them by dragging and dropping them. So you can customize the exact look and feel of the application to your own particular needs here. Uh, the final thing you might want to do is you you know sometimes it might be easier to have the activities at the top to make selections. There's a button here. There's all these different control buttons here. Right now, we're just going to talk about this one right here. And that just switches them around the other way. So you put the activities at the top and the actual times at the bottom, depending on your particular needs. You'll find out what suits you as you go through the use of the package. There's some shortcut keys here for snapshots, for the volume, video scenes, last used video, last used study, and toggle between the uh, normal and wide view. These will cover too as we go through the different various areas here. Uh, if you don't particularly care for the color scheme here, there's various styles you can put here. Uh, Office 27, 2007, 2010 are the ones we have. So if you just click on this, you can see the different colors changing here as I do that. So again, you can pick your, your look and feel uh, of what you particularly uh, want it to look like. Some of them look better than others. We've selected the Office 2000 Silver as the typical uh, look here. That's how you can start customizing the look of the interface that you're going to be facing when you actually use the Video Timer Pro.